Hi, I'm Nicole, and welcome to the Produce Made Simple Kitchen, where your go-to resource for all things fruits and veg. So, we're going to be making a really hearty salad, which I think is perfect for the colder winter months. Our base is raw Brussels sprouts, sliced thin, um, and we've also got a really pretty cabbage here. You could alternatively use a regular green cabbage, a red cabbage, or savoy cabbage. Um, and to the base, we're going to add some cilantro, some gala apples from Ontario, some Ontario onions, and then we're topping it off with some avocado, walnuts, salt and pepper, and a really amazing lemon dressing. And if you want the recipe for that, we also have a video, so check it out. So I find it a time saver to prepare my Brussels sprouts first with a smaller knife. I just cut the end off that's a bit tough and peel the outer leaves off, cutting away. If there's any like small little flaws, I would just cut those away with my parent, this little knife. You can use a bigger knife to cut them up into small pieces. What we're really looking for in the salad is quite a fine slice so that you don't get chunks of raw Brussels sprout. And we're making a salad today for two people. So I probably am gonna use about four to five Brussels sprouts um, each and then one apple between the two. So we've added our Brussels sprouts and cabbage to the bowl and now we're going to add our apple. In Ontario, we grow commercially over 15 different varieties of apple. So we're really lucky that there's lots of different choices and things to enjoy. I think a gala is a really good all-round apple because it's got a nice bite to it and it's also not overly sweet. So for this recipe, I've chosen a red onion to use. Red onions are great in salads because they have a slightly milder flavor than the yellow ones. You can see that the onion is quite small here, It's just so that you don't get huge chunks of raw onion when you're eating the salad. I would say this is about a quarter of an onion. But you can add as much as you like. If you like a lot more, go for it. Now a bit of um, cilantro. Again, you can just, um, you can cut it if you like or just rip it, whatever you preference. So the thing with cilantro is that you do definitely want to wash it well because it can be quite sort of sandy if you don't, that grootiness. So sprinkle that in. And again, you could add really any herbs to the salad that you like. I think that um, this will pair really well though with the sort of bolder flavors we've got going on here. A bit of avocado, which will add some creamy texture. You know an avocado is ripe when you press it with your thumb and it gives gently to pressure. Also, the little pit part here will pop out easily when it's ripe. So you'll find with avocado and the apple that both will sort of discolor from the air once they're cut, but adding the salad dressing will keep keep them from turning color. So we're gonna do that quite quickly. And uh, so now we're just, we're almost at the end. We're just going to add um, some walnuts. You could alternatively use sunflower seeds or pumpkin seeds. If you wanna be like the salad kits, you could add things like dried cranberries. That would also be very nice. So I would, this is a quarter cup. You can add as much as you like. A bit of salt and pepper. And now our lemon dressing. So we're just gonna to toss that and see how it looks. We can always add a little bit more if we want to. Right, so now we're just gonna put these in bowls. Um, this is a pretty generous salad, so I would say it would be two for a meal, uh, but you could also give it as a side salad or serve it as a family style. And there you have it, another great salad. We hope you like it as much as we do. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more Produce Made Simple. Bye! For all things fruits and veg, <laughs> it's awesome. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more produce made seed. <laughs> oh, bummer. <laughs> <laughs> so close. Oh, okay. Bye. <laughs>